Hi, I'm Chris, and you've just seen Luke opening his Witherbloom pre-release kit. So I'm now going to open uh, the Lawhold kit. So, well, let's see what kind of, well, hopefully aggressive red-white aggro, uh, aggressive red-white deck, or maybe a sort of uh, recursive graveyard deck would get lots of value. Um, we'll have to see. So I will grab the scissors. Open this up. And so inside we get the lovely dice with the law hold symbol on it. And you get the foil pre-release promo. I've got Sedgemore Witch. Pretty good card, I think. Um, being able to just churn out tokens with instants and sorcery spells, but unfortunately, possibly not in my colours. I'm hoping to play Lawhold, certainly, um, but I might be able to splash it. And then we've got the Seeded Booster. So let's get this open. And so first up, we've got a Lawhold Pledge Mage. Um, first Strike, uh, very powerful along with its Magecraft ability and just being able to make it difficult for opponents to be able to block it. And uh, Lawhold Campus, um, as Luke said, Scry ability on this is pretty powerful. I'll pop that over there. Spirit Summoning, so well, I've got a lesson already. Hopefully I pick up lots of Learn cards so that I can tutor cards from my sideboard whenever I need them. And a Stone Rise Spirit, I don't think this one's very good. It might be good late game in being able to trigger exile uh, abilities and give creatures flying, but early on it's not very good at blocking or dealing damage. And next we've got a Stonebound Mentor, pretty solid 3-mana three, 3-3. Uh, three three, three. Pillar Drop Rescuer, get some decent value, bit expensive, but... Well, it's kind of a 5-mana 2-2 two -two flyer that draws you a card. Dragon's Approach, which I think is unplayable. Uh, next, we've got Blood Age General. Pretty good 2-drop, I think. Um, works well if there I get plenty of um, spirit creature tokens. Uh, and Beaming Defiance. A fairly good trick. It's maybe a bit expensive again. Ooh, I've got an Uncommon Lesson. That's pretty nice. So uh, let's me, well, if I learn, then I can just remove an opponent's creature and they get a 3-2. If it's a horrible flyer or something, that's not a, not a terrible exchange. Um, or I could even use it on, uh, if I've got a really rubbish small token, then I could upgrade that into a 3-2. Quintorius, I'm a big fan of the archaeological elephant. Uh, yeah, very powerful, especially if I'm able to exile cards repeatedly from my graveyard in just being able to churn out spirits and being a spirit lord looks awesome uh, academic dispute well i've got a learn card already uh not the most powerful of effects although it can help me maybe block a flyer or force an opponent to jump block with a creature so it's maybe going to be good Ooh, pretty decent rare also learns um and, oh, I did not know it had haste. That's pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty decent value in a 4-mana 2-2 two, two flying haste that uh, can tutor a card from my sideboard or rummage if I need. Not bad. And it's recursive. Forgot about that bit. And then I've got some spirit tokens that also have inkling and elemental tokens on the back and a helper card. So let's get to the boosters. First booster, we have Rise of Extus. Oh, I think this is a pretty decent removal spell. If I'm Law Hold, I'll probably still play this. Um, exiling a creature and an instant or sorcery card from a graveyard. Could even be mine if I've got Quintorius out and I want to create a spirit. And uh, that's exile a card from my graveyard. And learns as well, so kind of a six mana. Kill a creature, draw a card. 
And even though it's theoretically a silver quill card, I can still cast it in a Lawhold deck because I can cast it for four and two white. So pretty decent. I've got Spiteful Squad and Campus. So ooh, might be able to splash blue if I end up playing a controlling deck. Uh, yeah, an okay three drop. Uh, some green removal. And eh, blue two drop. Some black card draw and crushing disappointment. Defend the campus. Also a nice flexible card that could be a removal spell or could be an anthem for my creatures. That's definitely got potential if I'm playing Lawhold. Oh, some red removal. So Lawhold's definitely looking strong so far. Uh, nice lesson that, well, I'll just, it'll be there in my sideboard in case I need to make a creature bigger. Fracture. Um, uh, okay. Uh, well, I suppose it's a sideboard card more than anything for getting rid of Planeswalkers, Artifacts and Enchantments. Um, uh, Witherbloom Apprentice. Expressive Iteration. Pretty decent card draw for Prismari. Ooh, and uh, rare... Um, a silver Quill card, that, so Silver Quill Silencer. I don't know, I could, if I wanted to play it, I might be able to splash black in a Law Hold deck. We'll have to see. Oh, and a pretty nice uh, Mystical Archive card if I was going to be playing black, although not the best splash card in Inquisition of Kozilek. Um, Yeah, nice discard spell. I'm sure I'll find a use for that somewhere. And next booster. So, eh, a very ish wall. Um, then, yeah, maybe a fly that I could play. Um, not very good. Oh, the um, Biograph that Luke was singing the praises of earlier. Um, oh, so a potentially good learn card in being able to make one of my creatures bigger and uh, getting a card out of my sideboard. Oh, some more synergies in uh, with exiling cards from my graveyard with Fuming Effigy. Looks as though I'm going to be wanting to do quite a lot of that. And another Spirit Summoning. So that's some decent value out of my sideboard if I've got plenty of learn. Kelpie Guide. Uh, this was, I think, number five in Dom's list of uh, the top five commons and uncommons for Caltime Limited. Uh, Strixhaven Limited. We're not Caltime anymore. Um... It's definitely very good, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to play it in this. I'm, I have very few blue cards at the moment, so it doesn't look as though I'm looking to splash that. Um, a pretty good uh, four drop in um, Storm Kill an Artist, being able to, well, getting plus one plus oh for each artifact I control and creating treasure tokens whenever I cast instants or sorceries. So could help me ramp, can also turn into a pretty big creature. That's not bad. Closing statement. Uh, good silver quill removal spell. Um, so we'll have to see whether... I've got some decent silver quill cards, so maybe I want to try and splash that in my Lawhold deck. Ooh. And we've got a Witherbloom rare. I'm probably not going to play this. Even if I was splashing black, I would never be able to uh, cast it for... Uh, I'd never be able to cast it for um, for black, so uh, never mind. And Infuriate, okay, uh, maybe a decent pump spell if I'm playing Lawhold. Uh, that's not bad, and the pretty mystical archive art as well. And next pack, we have... Stonebound Mentor, so another 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I hadn't realised I've ended up with a lot of Silver Core cards and not that many Law Holds so far, so we'll have to see. Or oh, another Rise of Exodus, so more removal spells that let me learn. And I've got four lessons that I want to pick up already, so that's looking pretty promising. Um, a Nish Artifact. Uh, Resculpt, okay. Oh, a Combat Professor, there we go. Luke mentioned this earlier, and yeah, I like this card quite a lot. Um, 
I think the thing you really want in a four drop in an aggressive deck is a card that is a body that helps you push damage. And this does really well in uh, the turn it comes down, making your creatures a little bit bigger. And then uh, meaning they've hopefully got better attacks. And then it can just be a four mana, three, three vigilance uh, when it attacks. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, first day of class, some more learn, although the ability is very marginal in maybe making a creature bigger. Not enough space. There we go. Uh, we've got Mage Jewel. Oh, another, another good lesson in just being able to scry two and draw a card. So if I get that on my sideboard, it basically does turn into draw a card. Um, oh, and a blue lesson, but I don't think I'm going to be playing that. Quandrix Apprentice, very strong uh, in Quandrix, but I don't think I'm going to be playing that. And, well, actually, that's my first Quandrix card. Zephyr Boots. Potentially a pretty decent equipment if um, if my opponent doesn't have any uh, anything that can block flyers, then well, this could just win the game by itself. And uh, the ability to loot when it uh, deals damage to an opponent also very strong. Strict Proctor. So well, I've got a um, a rare in my colours. Two mana, one three flyer is okay, more defensive than anything, and its ability. I'm not sure it might. It might be good if I don't have any enter the battlefield effects, but it could also work against me, so we'll have to see. And then, oh, a mystical archive in my cards, in my colours, which could be good if I don't have a lot of, uh, oh, if I have lots of magecraft triggers or things like that. So maybe I might play it. And foil mage jewel. And. An ultimate booster. We've got exhilarating elocution, more silver quill. Wow. Uh, oh, my second Quandrix card. Throwing discovery. So if I'm wanting to be a slower law hold deck that's getting lots of value, this might be this might be good in maybe discarding a couple of lands and uh, hopefully drawing into more action. Pop quiz, which I really like, as kind of an instant speed uh, divination. Um, but well, I don't think I'm going to be splashing blue. I also haven't picked up many campuses, so splashing doesn't look likely. Oh, another beaming defiance. Mm, it's okay. Oh, some more red removal. That's not too bad. Some ish cards. Oh, uh, lesson that I'm unlikely to be able to play unless I do end up in Silver Quill, which is a possibility. Although I don't have many black cards or removal. My best removal is Rise of Exodus at the moment, and I can play that in a Law Hold deck anyway. Eye Twitch, Explosive Welcome. Oh, Killian Ink Duelist. Very strong Silver Quill card. Oh, it really. This pool's kind of wanting me to play Silver Quill, isn't it? I don't know. We'll have to see. And. A Quandrix Rare. And, ooh, an Opt. Very pretty. And last pack. Let's see. Got a Karok. Biomathematician. Very nice, but, well, I'm definitely not ending up in Quandrix at this stage, I don't think. Oh, another Law Hell Campus. So, well, maybe, maybe I'm going to end up Silver Quill splashing some red, maybe for Quintorius. That would be interesting. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, Dusk Mage. Oh, another Defend the Campus. So I'm getting some potentially decent removal in white. And ish three drop. Field trip. Oh, another another lesson. So, wow, that's six lessons in um, law hold so far. Although, actually, if I play 
Uh, if I end up silver quill, I've got seven lessons, so that might be pretty good. Ten the pests, devouring tendrils. Oh, uh, silver quill, uh, red. No, not red. Black rare. Um, pretty good in being able to give uh, equipped creatures plus one plus one and life link, um, and learning so it uh, partially replaces itself. Maybe I can tutor up a summoning to get a creature to attach this to. That would be pretty decent. And village rights. So, um, yeah, quite a lot of decent black. And an academic dispute for some more learn. And so, well, that's, that's the pool. I'm definitely, I think I'm looking more towards... Well, I'm not sure. I'm either going to be Lawhold or maybe Silver Quill splashing uh, red. I'm. I don't have many black removal spells. My best removal spells, I think, are the two Rise of Exodus. Uh, well, so let's see. And so here's the deck. Possibly not what you expected. I tried my best to make a Lawhold deck work, but. I just never really liked the look of them. Um, they were very lacking in two drops and their creatures were generally pretty weak. I was having to play the strict Proctor, which kind of non bowed with several of my creatures. So I thought, well, let's have a look at what uh, Silver Quill looks like. And here I think I've got some much better creatures. The Silver Quill Silencer uh, being able to uh, tax my opponent a bit, especially if they've just picked up a lesson card, uh, I'll be able to name that so that I'll hopefully be able to draw a card when they cast it. Uh, Killian, Ink Duelist, looking very strong, especially with my pretty powerful removal suite with Defend the Campus for big creatures and Rise of Exodus for any creature, really. Being able to cast Rise of Exodus for four mana looks like a pretty good deal. Uh, also means I get to play Sedgemore Witch, so nice being able to play my pre-release promo. And the Witch works pretty well with my removal spells and Defiant Strike. Uh, the Promising Dusk Mages are a little bit weak, but, well, they can potentially work well if a Spiteful Squad dies, or uh, maybe casting Guiding Voice on it, or maybe uh, bringing Expanded Anatomy out of the sideboard. So I... I think they've got enough combos to uh, be relevant and poet's quill i'm definitely looking forward to playing to that but uh, to playing with that looks like it's going to be very strong um i've got an okay number of creatures i'd like one or two more actually but i think this works out well and then i've got retriever phoenix i'm splashing that off my two law hold campuses they will hopefully come in very useful. So I'll play one mountain and have three red sources. And so the Retriever Phoenix works as part of my learn package with Eye Twitch and uh, Guiding Voice, Poet's Quill and the Rise of Exodus. So I've got the potential to get a decent number of cards out of my sideboard and that could help me bring back the Retriever Phoenix. So I think that's worth the splash as a pretty good late game card that could also help me just finish the game. And then uh, it also means I can play all seven or have the possibility of playing all seven of my lesson cards. So, well, I'll get to try out Reduced to Memory, which looks though like it could be pretty sweet in getting rid of uh, something scary or being able to uh, maybe upgrade an eye twitch. That looks like a pretty decent combo. So, yeah, well, let's see how it goes.